Hey there, my name is Andre Brisson and I am an ADHD entrepreneur. I was diagnosed with ADHD four years ago. I have severe ADHD. I own an engineering consultant company. Society has told us that if you can function well in school or are successful in a career, you cannot have ADHD. You're not trying hard enough. You're being lazy. This is simply not true. In grade school and high school, I was overlooked for ADHD because I was doing well. I had high marks. I wasn't bouncing off the walls, disrupting the class. I was at home though. Even though I did well at school, I did not quite understand why I couldn't do the things other people did easily or the way I perceived things or how I solved problems were completely different than the norm. That was very difficult because I was told many times you can't do it that way even though I had the right answer. It was demotivating. Trying to do it the way everyone else did just did not work for me. For many years, I struggled as an employee. My employer and my coworkers did not understand or appreciate my intensity when I got interested in a new project or opportunity. They could not understand or appreciate my ability to hyper-focus or over-focus, as they call it, for countless hours or days. My colleagues were put off by my impulsive changes of subject or project direction and my procrastination to do things at the last minute. I self-imposed chaos to drive up my adrenaline in order to increase my ability to focus, to activate my brain. Adults with ADHD are often overlooked and dismissed because they are misunderstood. They don't fit the mold. When I started following the norm of doing things other people's way, I started to fail and things took longer to complete and to execute. I had a hard time communicating with others. I did not operate or see things or do things like everyone else. I was an outcast, an outsider, and I was ridiculed for doing things differently or worse, I was even criticized and ostracized for doing things and thinking differently. I was wondering if I was doing the right thing or not, and not quite understanding that it was my undiagnosed ADHD that made me different. I started to believe I failed at everything I did or attempted, even though I succeeded. People did not accept me because of that difference. You develop a fear of other people misunderstanding you or having the misconception of you. You are now on high alert all the time. You are being extra cautious and extra careful what you're going to say. You feel like you are always walking on normative eggshells because you don't want to upset people and that creates anxiety for you. You feel stressed that people don't see and understand you and you doubt yourself all the time. I would stand quietly in the corner wanting to say something. Then all of a sudden I stop myself because now I subconsciously made a rule that I'm not going to say anything anymore and stay in the corner and try not to embarrass my family, my friends or my coworkers. I'd stay there in the corner and I would push myself down inside of me. I'd be hiding myself. And I know that this is not right, but I'm still doing it and having an internal battle with myself. It creates a lot of stress and anxiety that no one sees. I call it the silent suffering. The negative rumination and self-talk amplifies and heightens our low self-esteem. Because of them, we create this anxiety for ourselves. It's a vicious circle. We do this just so we are seen as normal and to be accepted. I left my job to begin my own business, which was better, but I still had issues at home and at work once my company became successful. Then my life tempest occurred. A very chaotic four to five years of my life when my undiagnosed ADHD symptoms took over and dominated me. I got into a bad business partnership in which I lost my first company. It made me very difficult to live with, very difficult to work with, and I lost clients and I lost business. 
I now know that it was emotional dysregulation that was off the charts. I was confused. I knew deep down inside of me that that was not me. That was not the real me. It was not good for my kids and my wife. So I decided to go get help. And that is when I got diagnosed with severe ADHD. I finally understood why I struggled all those years and what I can do about it. I began treatment and started to learn how my brain worked differently. This allowed me to put strategies and accommodations in place that made me more productive and successful. More importantly, I was now able to communicate to other people why I do things differently, why I see things differently, and how my different path will work for me and everyone in the end. I know what works for me well now. When I started following my own path, the way that things made sense to me in my own unique way, I started to have more success. There are different medications and different types of therapies. Medication is one part of the treatment. Therapy is the second part of the treatment and education is the third part. Educate yourself about ADHD, how the brain is different and how it works, what it does and understand it. With that education, you gain awareness. Awareness is the true power. Awareness is the act of applying knowledge. We really need to invest in educating employees and employers about ADHD so this does not happen to other people. With knowledge and awareness, you can succeed. You need to build personal skills and strategies that work for you. With knowledge and awareness, you can support and help your employees succeed and feel great about themselves. ADHD is not a moral failing. The brain is wired differently and requires different methods and systems to succeed. Simply, it is a difference. Understand the difference to support and build each other. Harness the person's ADHD and everyone will succeed. Kadak is an organization that supports people and families living with ADHD. Their mandate is educating and advocating for ADHD. Your donation will support the ADHD community and Kadak to advocate, to increase awareness in the community and educate everyone how ADHD can be harnessed for everyone's success. Please donate today.